Hello everyone! Welcome to Quick Preach, your online channel for short messages about God. Today, we are going to continue with our series titled, The Creation. And now, we are in part 3, wherein we will discuss surface and flora. So, um, before we start our preaching, let me just acknowledge my main reference for this video, which is the New International Version of the Bible. Let's begin. So for this preaching, please pause the video and open your Bible to read Genesis chapter 1 verses 9 to 13. All right, now let's continue with our discussion. So in Genesis 1, verse 9, it says, 9, And God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered to one place, and let dry ground appear. And it was so. So since God already created water above, so remember, the sky, based on our previous preaching, and below, which God has not named yet, we can see from this verse that God tried to push the waters below to one corner of the planet to reveal a solid portion of the earth. Now, it is interesting to note of the colored phrase. It says here that the waters have been gathered in one place. So when you gather the waters in one place, it means it's only located at one section and therefore the land will appear or only at the opposite location. Meaning the scattered land masses or continents of the earth now may have had a different formation during the creation because they have to appear as in one location only. So, let's put an illustration. So, the continents may have been together in the opposite location as one supercontinent. Alright? Because God tried to push the waters to one side to reveal the dry ground on the other side. Now, this seemingly coincides with the continental drift theory proposed by geophysicist Alfred Wegener. According to the theory, the continents we know now were pieced together as one giant landmass, so as you can see here, which he named as Pangea. So if we look at this illustration alone, we can see that there are geographical evidences. For one, we can see that Africa fits perfectly with North and South America, like jigsaw puzzle pieces. In another evidence, similar fossils of plants and animals were found in different continents, South America, Africa, Australia, not shown here, and Antarctica. So imagine, how could there be similar fossils or um, remains of plants and animals in these particular continents if they are miles apart now? Meaning that there is a strong evidence that these land masses were once joined together. Now, the question is, how did they drift apart? According to scientists, a major Earth event occurred to have caused it. And we will probably discuss that in the future. But for now, it is good to know that um, the possibility that God pushed the waters to one side to reveal the solid ground on the other side. So going back to our passage, 
Genesis 1.10 says, And God called the dry ground land, and the gathered water he called seas. And God saw that it was good. So, in this verse, God finally named the two main parts of the earth. He called the dry ground land, which we are living on today. And the liquid part, which was the waters below, he generally named a seas. So if we're going to look at the illustration, the previous illustration, we can see that this is what God called land and this is what God called the seas. Although, of course, the scientists named it differently, Pangea and, of course, an ocean. So we go back to this verse and we are reminded again that God said that whatever he created was good, meaning until this point, whatever existed remained perfect and pristine. So nothing, God created nothing that was, that God created nothing that was bad or was unclean or impure or imperfect. Let's proceed. According to Genesis 1, verses 11 to 12, Then God said, Let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it, according to their various kinds. And it was so. Next verse 12, The land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in it, according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. Now, what is interesting here is that this is the first time that God has mentioned a particular living organism. So, although we cannot confirm if single-celled organisms have started existing because God already created light, sky, land, and seas, we are sure that at this point, God placed emphasis on a major kingdom in modern biology, which is the kingdom plantae, or the plants. Now, what makes this creation extremely significant? This is because plants are able to produce their own food through photosynthesis. In this particular process, plants used energy from the light which God created, remember, on the first day and combined this with carbon dioxide which is produced mainly by the interaction of the sky and the seas which, remember again, God made on the second day. It also combines it also needs water which moves in and under the land which God just created in the early part of this day. And finally, chloroplast which the plants already possess. So as you can see, all the basic components that plants need to live were already created. And that makes them the primary producers. When you say primary producers, meaning that all the other living organisms will rely on them or will feed on them because they are the main source of energy in the food chain or food web. So isn't that amazing that God was able to create a living organism that requires all the um, previous creations. So, we now end the passage with Genesis 1 verse 13, which says, And there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. So there you have it. 
The third set of creations were the land, the seas, and the plants. Thank you very much for finishing this very short video. If you enjoy this message, click the like button and share to others. If you have any comments or suggestions or would like me and my colleagues to pray for you, you may use the comment section or email us at quickpreach at gmail.com. Now, if you wish to watch more short messages, subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications to be reminded if a new video has been uploaded. We are looking forward to sharing more with you in the upcoming videos. God bless everyone.